There we go. Good evening, everybody. This is Miles Luigi. I suppose if you were just watching, I uh, can't be there. Uh, enjoy him trying to get through pro mode. Uh, but as for us, uh, this is Super Mario Bros. 3 Mix. Uh, we have made it over to World 8, which is, I guess, uh, canonically kind of the ending here. Uh, one sec, please. And we're live! Good evening, everybody! Hello there! And tonight, joining us right away is Higsby. Where have you been, man? Sorry about that. Good evening. So yeah, where have you been, Higsby? Sorry there, if you said anything, I was just finishing getting all my sound settings set up. Yeah, how have you been? It's been a little while, huh? Oh, gosh, okay. Hey, good evening, Yoshi's all. Anyway, uh, what's been happening? I guess Midwest Gaming Classic happened. Uh, I gotta say, uh, the Wisconsin Center was a way better venue for uh, that event than the old Sheridan was. A lot more wide open uh, and fun, so... It's interesting, because I didn't find that the previous location was actually too bad. I thought that it was a pretty good area to walk around. I do know that the halls were a little bit crammed at times when... It was required for people to line up in them, but otherwise, I thought that the selling room was pretty good. Did you find that the selling room was bigger or smaller now that it wasn't oh, inside like that tent? Oh, it was bigger. It was That's definitely good. bigger. So yeah, and not in a tent. Uh, so yeah, not sure, uh, Yoshizilla, are you aware of what Midwest Gaming Classic is? I am not. Is this the place you were talking about you went on Saturday? Or yes. something different? Correct. It is the that same place. So it's a convention. It happens, I guess, once a year. It's an annual convention in uh, Milwaukee. Uh, it's basically kind of a well retro gamer uh, actually convention. So uh, there's a lot of like we were... old school video game stuff there in arcades. Uh, the show started off as kind of a uh, selling place for old arcade cabinets, and then it kind of became like a whole retro game convention. Uh, and if you're working on a game collection of some kind, it's a fantastic place to go, because chances are what you're looking for is on sale there. Granted, it might be really expensive, but it's probably there. <laughs> it's funny that uh, you and I were both at a gaming convention that same day, yet two different, like one was for speedrunning, and then one was, you know, like what you said, like, you know, classic, like old games or whatever you said. Yep, retro games. So, yeah, retro. uh... I myself didn't pick up any games just because I'm not really looking to fill out a collection at this time. Uh, I was tempted a couple times. Like, I uh, saw an American um, Yoshi's Island box still sealed for, like, 80, and I'm like, oh, that's tempting. Oh, man. <laughs> so, like, which? The original Yoshi Island? Or? Uh, Yoshi's Island Super Mario World 2. Um, I have a yeah. uh, Japanese Famicom card of that. I think I got for, like, $40, uh, but this was still sealed in a box copy. Um, Some so that's a little annoying. Is Yoshi's Island Super Mario World 2 isn't on like VC? Only Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 is on is on like VC. Really? Which, and um, while they're the same game, I think the music in the NES is better than, or the Super Nintendo is better than the uh, the Game Boy. The I think a lot of is also actually... a big factor, too. I feel like when games were ported to the Game Boy Advance, the small screen size, while manageable, I always prefer the kind of bigger field of view that you get when you play the Super Nintendo version. So games like uh, Mega Man and Base had that as well. Where it's cool that they were ported to the Game Boy Advance, but it really does kind of hinder the gameplay a little bit when you can't see too much of the screen. Yeah, when I did uh, my Let's Play of uh, Yoshi's Island, I did do the Game Boy Advance version, because A, that was the uh, version I played, and B, it had the extra levels. But I, I will concede the original, uh, depending on who you talked to, had the better sound, and, you know, you could see more, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> so... No, you missed the first star coin! I did miss the first star coin! So... You failed! I failed! And my internet decided to work. <laughs> Good hey, evening, JD Aster. I hear you dissing the GBA screen size. Oh boy. <laughs> That's Higsby. That's all Higsby. 
<laughs> and I'll I think that's what he means. I don't think it's terrible, but I do believe that when you look at the kind of, you know, how much you can see on the Super Nintendo and how much you can see on the GBA, um, when you have obviously games that are just direct ports, it's kind of an issue. But when you have games that were made specific specifically for the GBA, um, it's not usually a problem. Good death, Miles. Thanks. <laughs> the almighty butt is not quite as powerful in Mario 3. I sometimes forget that. Nothing is as powerful in Mario 3. Nope. It's like we're going kind of a one from each world type deal. But yeah, Miles, did you enjoy your retro game event? Oh, I definitely did. And I got to see Evil Pop Type for the first time in like two years in person. Uh, and uh, got did to you have give lunch. Him a high five? Yes, I did. <laughs> so. <laughs> I probably need to bring a Tanuki tail into here, or at least something to get this darn coin, because that's the coin I missed over there. <laughs> yeah, I need something yeah. to get that. I wonder if I can bring a shell down there as a substitute. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, but yeah, Evil Pop-Tart was on a mission to get some uh, collectibles himself, uh, and he uh, managed to succeed pretty well. He posted what he found uh, on the Discord server, so... Oh, lord. Oh, that's cool. You can take shells into the pipe? What? What is this knowledge? Yeah, but I kind of need to be big, so... Yeah, you kind of do. If I save and quit, that's going to take me back to the main menu, and then I'm going to lose all my extra lives. I can't, like, start select out of the level. Can I get a mushroom before I exit this screen? Let's take a look. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I got to meet some cool people at my event uh, myself. Um... I, I left at like, what, I think at, like at just before 7 in the morning, and it was just a drive to San Francisco, so it only took like two hours. San Francisco did, traffic, though. Did you uh, participate in the event, or just attend? Uh, no, I participated. I did Paper Mario 1000 Your Door. It was, a uh, it's another speedrunning event. I don't know if you've, uh, like, watched those kind of events or anything, Higsby. Uh, I don't watch too many of them. Is this uh, Awesome Games Done Quick, or...? Uh, no, it's a smaller event, like Awesome Games Done Quick, only for four days, and it's called Calicon. <laughs> there's a lot of, like, smaller, basically awesome game events, like, there's RPG Limit Break, there's ESA Germany, and, like, just a lot more than, obviously, Calicon, and there's also Smash the Record. Did you try hitting the, where the, uh, image invisible one-up block would be normally? Uh, no, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, nope, it apparently doesn't. It didn't I look just, like there was anything there. I just have to get out of the level alive now, so... What is with the random slowdowns? I don't know. I think it's helping, though. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to take a look again, but I remember I helped Evil Pop-Tart uh, find a copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day on the N64, which uh, I was surprised he was out to go get that game, considering that uh, uh, basically he paid $75 for it. Did he make sure it was a real one? There's so many counterfeits of that game out there today. Really? I was not aware. No, I didn't try to do any super duper seal of quality, so if it's a reproduction cart, well... That sucks. Also, gosh darn, this waterfall. Ah, I was not prepared for that. Thankfully, I hit the midway point, so all is good. I just have to beat the level. Yeah, waterfalls in Mario 3 really drag you down if you're not ready for it. <laughs> I see that. Also, I am better off going down that pipe, because otherwise i got to deal with Hammer Bros. And I don't want to deal with Hammer Bros. Yeah, he got some good pickups, and... Uh, yeah, the only thing that kind of stunk, and it wasn't related to the Midwest Gaming Classic, but uh, the weather was really garbage here in Wisconsin this weekend. Like, it, it's the middle of April, it's spring, and it looked more like it was January. Yeah, we, we got a cold snap in New York as well. It was so nice in, like, mid-70s and Friday and Saturday, and then, like, come Sunday, it's like, yeah, high of 40. <laughs> well, we got a blizzard, so... Yeah, I guess that's the logical extension, because the Midwest is always worse this time of year. 
<sighs> but yeah, because of that, uh, Evil Popter and I were also going to, uh, like, we had a uh, lunch on Saturday. We were planning on doing lunch again Sunday before we had to leave, but uh, we ended up not doing that. Uh, and just agreed that uh, next time we meet together, which will probably be uh, this summer, uh, to make up then. Yeah, this definitely seems to be Remix World. Vital levels like of it. various different... Man, I don't know how you're supposed to get that coin unless you have a Fire Flower in advance. Uh, oh, I guess you could keep the Starman there, potentially? Well, could you throw a Koopa Troop at it? Ooh, good point. I was about to say, this is not one of the little nipper piranha plants that jump forward at me. I couldn't lure him, but... Oh, the ninja got me out of all things. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's bring a power-up. Oh boy, let's not lose the power-up right away. So, Higgs, I got a question for you. Absolutely. Did you ever get around to fully finishing that, cre that creepypasta Sonic game that you played? <laughs> At the risk of having nightmares for the rest of my life, I never did make it to the end. But it is definitely, you know, every once in a while I pick it up and I'm like, let's see. And then I remember why it deserves to be on the shelf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it, it's, so, it's so cool. And the fact that you sent that to me, Miles, is something that I have always think is really funny. So thank you for that. I think that was one of the funniest things I've, I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just so unexpected. The whole reason I got Higsby that is because he has a game collection. Now he can say, I know which game is the haunted one now. <laughs> it's not a mystery anymore. <laughs> I'm now immune it's to not all a mystery, potential really creepypastas someone might write about me. <laughs> Unless they involve that game, I guess. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I did see a couple of ROM hacks uh, by one vendor at uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. They were selling a couple of games, but one that stood out to me was uh, Return to Dinosaur Land, which is a Mario World ROM hack. It's like the very first Mario World ROM hack. Not really. That was Frank's really? Super Mario World. No, I'm just kidding. But um, Return the Mar uh, to Dinosaur Land is like a very old one that for some reason has stuck around through time, I guess because it feels fairly similar to the original Mario World and it doesn't really introduce much new stuff, so people feel like they can kind of just pick it up and, you know, there's nothing really new to expect, and I guess there's people who like that kind of thing. But, yeah, for whatever reason, people love to make cartridges of it, probably also because it's real hardware compatible. There were so, there was, you know, there's so many ROM hacks out there where you have to worry about that, I guess. Yeah. Your ROM hack included, XV. Not my fault. <laughs> Ad music was like a brand new thing, and then no one realized that two years later there'd be this mass exodus of anything that wasn't compatible on real hardware. Oh, the conveyor belt got me, and I don't think I hit a midway point there. Damn it. No, I didn't. Well, damn Mario 2's final level for being huge. I feel like there's more added to it, too. I don't think it's exactly the same. This first room definitely is a throwback to it, though. It looks pretty much identical from what I remember. At least if you take the, the lower path. Man, there's a star I'm going wondering, down I'm wondering, here, I'm so. wondering if they put in both paths and you have to backtrack for the second star coin. I'm mm. wondering that as well. Ah, I messed that up. I messed that up big time. I messed that up big time. Nope, star coins over here. Nope, nope, nope. I messed that up. Big, big, big time. Ugh. <sighs> Safe state, because I don't have any more fire flowers. Safe state. Alright, let's do this. At least, at least there's no hands in this version. <laughs> That's true. Oh gosh, does this mean we're going to have to ride a boat in the Sunshine World level? Oh gosh, I'm not looking forward to that. We'll see. That, that's a bit down the line, though. Oh, yeah. you lost your Fire Flower. That's the third star coin? Yeah, isn't that interesting? And I think this is the second one, so the first one probably is on the upper path. So I wonder if you're supposed to do, like, the upper path, and then backtrack, and then do the lower path, because it's kind of impossible I mean, it's... to go back at this point. 
or... Well, you could go back in the original game. I don't know if it works differently in this, obviously, but you could always, like, go over the top of the Birdo sections and go back oh, down. Oh, man, Miles, you, you found true. the first star coin. It was so concealed by the line of coins, it was impossible to see. Hmm. Oh, well, that was the first one, okay. Well, this boomerang suit does a whole lot against little sparkies, as in nothing. If so. I remember correctly, uh, the Super Mario Advance, uh, like, secrets in this level were kind of obnoxious, because you did pretty much have to go through both paths to get them all. For the Yoshi eggs? Yeah. Mm hmm Wow, it's been so long since I did that. Yeah, I haven't played Super Mario Advance probably ten years at this point. I've got it in, like, 07, and probably only played it a few times. Play it right now, JD Acer. I mean, that was a big deal when it came out. It's like, look at these graphics. And like, it, it was pretty much the game that, like, defined what the Game Boy Advance was going to become. And, I mean, I played the heck out of it when it came out. I really like that graphics. they added the Advance coins to all the levels. And I kind of wish that they... I mean, Mario 2, I guess, was the game that needed that the most because the other Mario games that would eventually be released on the Game yeah, Boy Advance they already added had... Super Mario World, oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Well, See, they did, add, they did I was add Dragon that... Coins to all the levels, which was nice. Yeah. No courtesy coin. <laughs> I was hoping that they would add advanced coins to the Mario 3 levels too, and not just the e-reader ones. So yeah. I was a little bit disappointed when that happened. Because I remember oh. I saw pictures of it in Nintendo Power before it came out, and I guess the pictures oh, were so you're struggling to get into that pipe. I saw the e coins, so I bought the game with this expectation that every level was going to have them, so I was a little bit let down by that. <laughs> Miles, you were struggling to get into that pipe, weren't you? <laughs> Yeah, maybe yes. it's just me having played Advance 4 first, but, uh, because that was, like, the first Mario game I owned. But, uh, I never mind, like, the lack uh, lack of, uh, Advance coins and such in it. I think Did Mario 3 stands alone. The one -up? Hmm. My 1-Up got despawned, yes. <laughs> the okay, then. Perfect programming. Uh, nice one sprite limit, or one powered-up limit. <laughs> Although Mario 3 has the exception of those three 1-Up blocks. Mm-hmm. But notice how those are always placed in rooms without any other sprites, so... Unless it's a ROM hack, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, you can duck and go into a shell. I think it's cool the DS version of uh, New Super Mario Bros, how you get like have the blue shell power-up. Yeah, I thought it was a shame that that never came back. So I thought that was kind of cool. I actually haven't... That's the only new Super Mario Bros. I haven't uh, actually completed. Like, I've completed, like, new Super Mario Bros. 2, Wii U, Luigi U, and Wii. But I haven't beaten the DS version. Yeah, as much as uh, the mini mushroom secrets were probably overused in that game, I really like how they made, like, the special power-ups feel special in that mm -hmm. game. I agree completely. I feel like these days, power-ups in Mario games are kind of just like... You know, Generic. They're, they're gimmicks, and yeah, like... Like, they don't feel special. It's just like, oh, look, Mario can turn into a cut now. That's totally a reasonable... I, I think oh, the man. 3D worlds are better about that than, say, like... Yeah. Like, pretty much any of the other, like, recent 2D games or 3D land. It's true, because there were a lot of reasons... There were a lot of situations where you, like, had to climb walls and stuff to find secrets. And the double oh, yeah, cherry. Like, Bring back the double cherry, please. Yeah, the double cherry. Okay, do you know what but, the power-up... Like, squirrel suit just, wasn't very good. Just don't bring back the spring power... The spring power-up, ever. Just don't. The spring? In Super Mario Galaxy. Why is That's everyone right. gonna hate on the spring? <laughs> the spring is the worst power up. <laughs> Nobody That's likes why. to go boing boing boing. No, ah. it's okay to go boing boing boing, but you need to have control of the boing boing boing. If you have no control, it's no fun. Dang, that mushroom just was like, nope, I don't think so. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's give this another go. Oh, well. This I looks mean, rather least... World Six. At least you tried. That's right. At least you tried. Now, this time we got the motion before it said nope. Yeah. 
Oh, Miles, so since you were at the Retro Game Convention, you, like, I think you did say, like, you weren't able to catch my run at the, uh, event. Correct! Actually, great question for me to ask, then, is how well did you do? Um, I mean, my estimate was 310, and I got, uh, a 304. Um, the reason is, is because I got bodied by Chapter 3 RNG. Um, mm. you know, casually, you know, you like to get the conditions from Grubba. You know, it's a good challenge. I mean, it's not too hard, but, it, you know, in a speed run, you're just like, I swear, Jolene, give me a good condition. Wait five like, turns! Like wait five yeah. turns! <laughs> That's not a condition, but... Wait three turns, yeah, whatever. Yeah, wait, wait three turns? I, like, actually got bodied in that chapter. Um... And the thing about the TV I was using is I lost my visual cue for pal skip, so I had to do a different method that I did know how to do and I did practice in the practice room, um, but I wasn't like as used to it as I am now. Cause like right after the, after the event, I started practicing it and I kind of got it, like I guess fifty percent of the time. Um, I got pal skip third try. It took a total, including the item drop, about. 12 minutes to get pal skip, which really isn't that bad. I don't, I don't understand why Southbird felt like felt the need to take pieces of Mario 3 levels and just stick them in when they're not needed in this act. Like, that was just, like, 6-2. Yeah. Like, pretty much unchanged. I was thinking the same thing. It's like, wow, nice copy-paste there. Removed from Super Mario World Central. Yeah, I know. It, it's, <laughs> at least it's not 105. <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah. Um, suddenly we have like a sorry. Mario Land 2 kind of thing going on? Or did you go to the next level and I missed it? No. Oh, it's the same level, I think. Huh. That's World weird. 3 was actually Mario Land 2 World Land World, so... And now we're in Mario World Land World thing. Yoshi! So, yes, and we have Yoshi, which is good, because now I can walk on the munchers, and it's no problem. <laughs> yeah, uh, Miles, I'm pretty sure that, um... Event's going to highlight them on YouTube, so I guess you can catch the my run like there if you want to, like if you're interested in watching it. I am. I want to see how you did. You want to see how I did? Uh, I did kind of go risky with some certain stuff to get. I mean, I ha made safety saves, but I kind of like wanted to show off and like put on a good show mostly. Like, there's a trick at the beginning of the run that's like very risky, and I decide, huh, eh, I'm gonna go for it. I just need to save so I don't actually die. And game over. Good work. Oh gosh, yeah. did I need Yoshi? I have a feeling I really needed Yoshi. Yes, yes, I did need Yoshi. Yoshi. How dare you? Damn, cheap cheeps. All right, taking hits. See if I can make it. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez, these music note blots are going to make sure I don't make this. <laughs> Muncher run. Oh, Lord. That was not happening. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Why, Yoshi? <laughs> During a marathon run, the safety saves everywhere. <laughs> safety yeah, very saves. Good, very good job doing that. I don't think I could do a speed run like that under pressure. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, this is the thing. I like was a little ner like this is my second time doing it. I was still like a little nervous, uh, but literally, I just like you know took a deep breath. Didn't really think about people watching. Well, I mean, obviously, I did think about that, but just I didn't like overthink it. That makes sense. So Damn for it. being a participant at the con, do you get like perks, like free admission, things like that? Uh, at this specific one, no. But at like, I'm pretty sure games done quick. If you're a runner, you get in free, because it's like it's like sixty dollars to get in. But uh, for Calathon, it's only thirty dollars. So I'm just like, eh, whatever. Mhm. Mm but yeah, um. I think my run in total, I like, got like pe like the total amount people donated. It like got like over fifteen hundred dollar um fifteen hundred dollars donated during the run, so that's cool. And it also broke the record during my run, so that was cool. Like from last year, last year uh, the event raised fifteen. Uh, it was uh fifteen thousand dollars, I'm pretty sure. And this year they broke twenty five uh point five thousand. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, so they broke, they, broke, they broke the record uh, from last year during my run, and they got 25000 during the last run. So it was pretty cool. Oh, and uh, just like, you know, what happens at every gaming event, um, I came back home and, you know, got 
got a cold. Oh. <laughs> yep. The Cali cold is what we're calling it now. Travel tends to do that. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, oh. not to mention, you know, I was shaking hands with a bunch of people there, and one of them's bound to be sick. Hmm. Can you not take Yoshi through the pipe? So that was totally my fault, because you have to press up to go up pipes, but I also, like, you press up and jump to dismount Yoshi. So I did both actions at once, and totally my fault. I was curious about that, oh, too. okay. And it's weird enough seeing Yoshi in Mario 3. Miles, don't die! Don't die! Thankfully, we're good. All right. Yeah, actually, a month from today, I get to uh, do another um, marathon run, but at RPG Limit Break, and it's in Salt Lake City, so I have to fly there instead of drive. Ooh, okay. Yep. And it's a longer run. It's an hour. It's an hour longer. Different category for Thousand Year Door or Paper Mario One? Yeah. Yeah, all crystal stars. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that one's more interesting in my opinion because it has a lot more tricks. All right. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna stay there for longer. Like Calathon, I only stayed for like the whole day. Um, but this I'm staying 17th through the uh, 20th of uh, May. So it's a month from today. I'll be leaving. <laughs> Well, once again, good luck on your runs. Feel free to advertise and be like, hey, I'm running Thousand Year Door. Self-advertise. Uh, All right, so make sure you subscribe to the Nips King. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, is this death? Okay, it's not death. All right. Nice Although this, is, is this this, death? this This Pokey, like, has no body, and it makes me wonder, is his body invisible, or does he just not have a body? He just does not have a body. Okay. Well, nice plays for the uh, fireball spitting uh, sphinx guy. Oh god, getting out of here is gonna be uh, not happening. I assume that Poke is probably a reference to some Super Mario Land enemy. I'm not familiar. Nope, never mind. It just despawned the Poke. <laughs> oh man, it, it has the body now. <laughs> well, mental note to self. There goes that very mid sentence. <laughs> Teach your idea, Hickster. So now that you've played uh, pretty much all of this game, how do you feel playing a Mario 3 hack compared to playing a Mario World hack? I will say Mario 3 uh, is interesting, but there's certain things about Mario 3, just really subtle things that catch me off guard with how many world hacks that I've played, like picking up Koopa shells or uh, uh, the picking almighty butt rooms. not. <laughs> yes, the almighty butt not being as good. So <laughs> yeah, Mario World just flows so well, and like when you make a hack out of it, it just feels like you can do so much. But Mario 3 always feels rather stiff. And there's just so many little nuances that make it. I feel not as much fun to play as Mario World. So I'm happy that the Mario World hacking community is much bigger than the Mario 3 hacking community, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. And there's our midway point. We're doing pretty good right now, provided I don't get hit by any of these fireballs. I open my big mouth. <laughs> We're doing pretty good now, then gets hit. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Mm, I noticed one thing arrow. they changed is that you can now uh, jump on vines, which is something you couldn't do in the yeah, original Yeah, I was Mario noticing 3. that in the Mario 2 level. It's like, wait, that's not a thing. You can't do that. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Instead of waiting 17 hours to climb up a vine, you can just jump. Well, that, that is that very Mario much appreciated. Either, unless you did it, like, on the edge. There we go. There we go. Spike run! Spike run! Hit an exit! What was that? That was me knocking over my water bottle. Okay, uh, the, the spike run just took us to so a hidden exit. That didn't sound like a water bottle, that sounded like a bunch of glass bottles. 
You wanna know what? It, it's one of those metallic water bottles. It actually has the Green Bay Packers logo on it. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. Uh, this really makes me wonder. Well, there's spikes up there, but uh, can I continue that spike run any further, or is that the one thing that spike run will get me? I guess we'll have to find out. I'd assume that's all you can get from that. It would make sense. This isn't super duper long, so. Anything else hidden there would, uh, well, be rightfully deservedly hidden, but I'm not expecting anything else. But, we can still find out. Alright, here we go. Oh, jeez, wow, that was a great jump. So great I jumped right onto the spikes. Alright, so we have our one pipe here. Do we have anything else? Uh, we don't, and I'm just gonna fall off here because stars in Super Mario Bros. 3 don't last very long. About seven seconds to be exact. Yep. <laughs> I was actually about to ask Kigsby, how long do stars in Mario 3 last again? <laughs> it's like seven seconds versus Mario World 17 seconds. Ah, that's where our third star coin is. Gosh, fireballs coming at me from all directions. <laughs> this is like that, that Mario 2 level where you have to try not to jump or else you'll have to go back down and try again. <laughs> ah, nice. Quick there we go. Secrets. We gotta figure out where this pipe heads off to. This probably heads off to our Negaverse zone that we've seen a few times. I think it does. Ah, it does. And there's a hand. Hand did not pull me in, so let's just go into this level. Oh gosh, not one of these things. Lord, no, no, no. Very familiar. Is that just 7 9? <laughs> yeah, it definitely does look that way. I'm glad you guys recognized it because I'm like, this is recognizable, but I couldn't think of which level, so. Well, and we gotta Let's hope get you our... don't have to fall down this. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's hope you don't have to fall down the side and pick up, uh, ice blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to backtrack for the first coin. Oh yeah. Definitely do. <sighs> well, anyway, I haven't been here for long, but I think I'm gonna head out for now, because I could probably eat dinner. Um, oh yeah. But hey. good luck with yeah dinner. You must eat to stay healthy, and you know I, I you probably can't tell like I am still sick a little bit. Oh jeez, not really. Your voice didn't change too much, so I'm just a look congested. I mean, it's not like bad to where like I'm deathly ill. <laughs> like it's just like a slight cold. Okay, well get some food, get better, and yeah, I was gonna say before the stream started, I was having dinner, which was uh, if you ever heard of the meal chip beef on toast, uh, that's what I had. I haven't heard of it, but um, you know, sounds sounds good. I'm gonna have, I think, some chicken and rice because that's good. That also sounds good. <laughs> chicken and rice is good. Get well soon. Yep. Thanks, man. All right. None of you get sick. Stay healthy. Drink water. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, see you guys later. See ya. See ya. Alright, I gotta start being a- oh, there it is. I was about to say, be on the lookout for that first star coin and then I just ran right into it. That works. 
starting the, the level from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, in the original level, there used to be ice blocks blocking off that uh, side bath. I see. Hmm. So you would either need to have some sort of flight power up, or you would need to fall off the thing repeatedly and hope you could make a big enough hole to <laughs> sort of fall into. <laughs> And there wasn't, like, anything of consequence there either, since there weren't any advance coins or whatnot. I really like the times in Mario 3 where there were kind of, like, alternate exits and paths. So, like, um, 3-7 where you can go into the secret sky area and get the cloud and stuff like that. I, I want to go can... inside, Miles. That's how you would get to the third... ...uh, coin. Finding that out now. Just kind of continue on the path you were going on, towards the second. Uh, darn it. I probably needed that mushroom. Well, hopefully we can get another one here. Yes, we can. Alright, good. There's a pipe here. Now, I remember I saw the coin out in the open. Yeah, that pipe is the it. exit. Oh, nice. Sweet. We take those. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. The uh, box where the uh, cards would normally be there is just sitting there uh, next to the flagpole. Hmm. Avoid Speaker the fireballs! The box would normally be. Oh, that's right, this was another mode. And now we got three keys, so I think our weird World Zero uh, will be accessible to us once we figure out its actual entrance instead of its side entrances we found so far. Uh, with that said, World Six. This is uh, Super Mario Sunshine World Land World Thingamizwabber, so uh, I fear that we're going to have to ride a boat, but we'll find out if we actually do. Oh, I can't land on this roof. So overall, what do you think, Miles Luigi, of how well different games in the Mario universe have been transferred over to Mario 3? Uh, pretty well, and also nice. I just straight missed that star coin and hit the midway point with no opportunity for suicide, so I guess we're going back through this level. I think that, uh, this was done really well. Um, shoot, what was the name of the author of this hack again? Normally I have this information oh, pretty man. well memorized. Thank you! Southboard did a very... A uh, good job with this hack. I can understand why it was uh, recommended to me when it came out. Um, it, it is kind of nice to play through remixed Mario uh, levels, uh, which has been definitely a big feature of this ROM hack and Mario 3. Uh, but to say, normally it's a criticism of Mario hacks, Mario World hacks, Mario 3 hacks, to be like, oh, you just remade 1-1 one -one again. Uh, I, I think that since this ROM hack kind of advertised itself of yeah, that's what this is. Uh, I think it gets a little bit of a pass. A little bit of a pass. So, I've enjoyed it so far. And yeah, we are nearing the end, so that means unless, like, this level or another level becomes super devilishly uh, difficult here, and that was our third star coin. Uh, I probably don't have any complaints about the difficulty, especially since it's been a while since I've played a hack with minimal save state usage. I mean, I've used the one or two here and there. We gotta go through this level again to get that second coin. That was a devilish spot for it. Sadly, no boat! Also, okay, that's how we get up here. I was expecting a boat. I kind of wanted a boat. 
if there's one thing Sunshine is infamous for, it's uh, it's the volcano level's boat. So, <laughs> Corona Mountain. There we go. It took me a sec to think of what the name of the level was. Oh, I thought you were talking about the boat you have to take Yoshi on. <laughs> oh, that one's also pretty infamous too. You got me there. But yeah, Sunshine definitely had one of the most disappointing final levels in the Mario game, I think. Which is too bad, because I really like the rest of the game. I wonder if there was just, like, time constraints to, like, we don't have time for a real final level, just shove some boats and some lava together and stick the final boss on the end. Because it feels like they really could have actually made, like, a decent final level inside that. The final game. level is a cruise and a hot tub. No <laughs> fitting. Sounds more fun when you're not playing it. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, that didn't go as planned. And there we go, just another quick romp through the level, and we got through it. So that brings us to World 7's level, I guess, which will be Super Mario Galaxy Land World Land World, uh, place. <laughs> so, oh sweet, and we're gonna be dealing with flipping gravity too, I wonder if there's anything on the other side of this planet. Please don't be death. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Ooh, look, there's a planet. Is this death? <laughs> Gravity, please flip! Please cooperate! It's a really neat gimmick. Done pretty well, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised how, like, reasonably the momentum works. <laughs> Arguably better than, like, power balloons when you grab them flying down like full force in Super Mario World. You just continue flying downwards, usually into an instant death pit, depending on where you hit it from. I've probably had more deaths on tubular to that than anything else, like <laughs> playing re in recent years. There's a real strategy to having to like just grab the balloon from the perfect angle. Uh. Uh, nice gravity flip, I just fell into the ceiling and died. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Neither do I. Got the halfway. Yeah, at least I hit a halfway point, but still, that was just it cost me the boomerang suit. No. Hey Miles, did you get a chance to check out that death battle between uh, Crash and? And a spiral? I have not. What just happened? <laughs> I, am, I am thoroughly confused. <laughs> Anti-gravity shell destroyed Yoshi, you. How did you just notice that? <laughs> A tropical Freeze is a cool comparison. I really liked what they did, where yeah, each I forgot Tropical Freeze did that. I thought yeah. it did it really well, like, uh, just cause, I mean, it's layering the Frozen aesthetic on it, like, more heavily. The cool part about Tropical Freeze, though, is that it's actually a level based on each world from the first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's even more of a nice. throwback. That's, that's really neat. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay. Gravity became normal. Thank goodness. <laughs> I just love how that Koopa shell decided to, like, reverse itself and start falling upward for no reason. It threw me totally off guard, so there we go. 
All right. World 8, which so far, World 8 has been everything before, so World 8 by itself is, uh, so far it's proven to be an auto-scroller with really ominous dark red skies and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boa Bills! No castle yet, though. That may be coming up. Are the ground graphics from Zelda 2? Great yeah, question. <laughs> Now the question is, are we going to have the generic Mario 3 uh, Bowser fight or something different? It might also we'll be Hardman from Mega Man 3 graphics. Yeah, the graphics look pretty cool here. <laughs> it's a neat effect. It's the red palette. Miles, you can't use fire on something that's already on fire. That is true. Oh, Yoshi, how could this not be the last world? We've already been to space. Well, there is clearly a secret world that you still have to do. No, we don't talk about that one. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the negative zone. We don't talk about that. Let's say, yeah, I'll take the boomerang suit. Go away, like it's new. This definitely looks like a bridge, and the bridge uh, is not complete. Great. Way to go, bridge builders! You missed a section. You had to jump over it. Wow, how long does this bridge go? This thing has to be a pain in the butt to reel back up. Well, there we go. That's a pretty hilariously large boss door. <laughs> <laughs> the one that, at the end of the bridge? Yeah. Reminds me of the door, I think it's in 6-3. Or maybe also in 7-2 of Mario Brothers 2, where it's just like, for some reason, way bigger than a normal door. Yeah, one of those, yeah, I think it was 6-3. Like, right at the start of the level. Mm-hmm. Before you go they, inside. They made it all ornate. I forget if it was the All-Stars version or just the advanced version. It has, like, a picture of a bob bomb over it. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that was. I I, I don't think it was Advance. Or, sorry, it wasn't. I don't think it was All-Stars. It might have been Advance. Alright, looks like we're hitting up a split path here. Uh, my gun instinct tells me that I took the wrong split. Maybe. We'll see. I'm about to say there. Kind of converging here. You're really trusting of the bridges. I would be jumping non-stop because each of those individual seconds does, se sections does not look trustworthy. <laughs> I haven't betrayed my trust yet, but I, I guess I understand where the suspicion comes from, Higsby. Okay, there's definitely something on this other path that I missed here. Please don't get hit by a potobo! It's levels like this that kind of make you stop and wonder, how do how do these guys get through their own castle with all this? Did they just flip a switch at the entrance and then flip another switch when they get to their room? Well, if Mario World has proven us anything, uh, proven anything to us, there's always a secret back door. Just That's right. Mario. Mario doesn't always look for it for some reason. Or Luigi. <laughs> well, that's cryptic. We found a question mark, and we gotta figure out what that question mark uh, is there for. And anyway, let's head back. Ooh, actually, before we head all the way back, is there an invisible coin block right underneath it? You don't think it just means dead end? The only other thing I can think of is if I find Ooh. a P-switch in this room and head back to that area, it or might do press something up for everywhere. me. There could be a door. <laughs> the background's black, black, black yeah. Uh, I need to bring a flying power up into this level, because I think I need to fly up to that platform. Ah, oh, that potable got me again. That is very well placed. Doesn't play by the rules of, like, physical objects being in the way. <laughs> Oh, we hit a switch, and dead end? Dead end? Probably dead end. I'm gonna guess it's a dead end. 
Ah, this shot me back. Yeah, okay. We needed to hit that switch. Ah. Yeah, that was a hidden pipe. Mystery solved. Hmm. Aw, oh, so we don't have to press up everywhere? That's disappointing. Nope. Just down <laughs> in one location. One of my favorite secrets. I mean, I mean, I was so, like, whoa, when I figured out figured that as a kid. Is that one in the uh, first fortress of World 4 of Mario 3? Where yeah. when you press the P-Switch, it creates kind of the outline, but no, no, I it's think kind it's of the not second, expecting it. It's the second one, I think. The one with the donut blocks at the oh, beginning, it is. right? It completely is the second fortress. You're and correct. it just goes to like bonus room after bonus room after bonus room. It's like it's that. So... Uh, it's like the one inside a bonus room in Donkey Kong Country. Oh yes, but it's so weird because if you don't take that secret door, literally the end of the fortress is right after that. So the, it's really short. But if you go in that door, it adds like an extra three, three or four minutes to the level, and it's really weird. But you get three one-ups at the end, I guess. So, there's that. <laughs> or if you happen to find the invisible blocks leading to it. Mm -hmm. And there's no enemies either, so it's just like, Here, play around with this platform we made. You'll need <laughs> there the are experience. Spikes, though, okay. uh, I don't think uh, there were spikes. I think it's just totally, like, risk-free. I might be thinking of the level in World 7 that has those platforms then. Yeah, yeah. I sure hope there's, like, a midway point soon, because I don't think I have enough time to beat Bowser right now. 57 seconds. Yeah, I hit a switch, and I'm presuming I run back? Yes, I do. Okay, second pipe. Just midway point me, please. See, if it was a Mario World hack, everyone always gives their final levels 999 seconds. <laughs> Oh, it's not jump on Bowser. <laughs> I don't have time to futz around with Mario 3 Bowser right now. I'll just take the death. Oh, well, you should have uh, kept your flower. You could have murdered him. Uh, I should have. Also, nice going, Miles Luigi. That will be one suicide. And, uh, oh, I'm out of fire flowers. That's right. Penguin suit! Uh, nice invisible checkpoints. It's much appreciated. That was the thing I was not expecting at all about Samus Returns. Just how many invisible checkpoints they put in it. Hmm. Oh, I forget. How did saving in that game work? It wasn't just normal save rooms? Yeah, there are save rooms, but, like, you'll also respawn if you die to a boss, I think? Or maybe you'll just respawn where the last boss was. Hmm. Interesting, we're going with a more traditional three-hit structure here. Cool. Okay, so you have Bowser hit the solid bricks, but not the weak... the weak... weak wood. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you do raise a good point. <laughs> <laughs> that rope, man, that rope can hold together. Lava doesn't stop it. And so the princess was saved and peace restored to the Mushroom Kingdom and Galaxy. I suppose we needed to make a reference to that. So, hooray, we did it. Good work. And we fly away. All right, special thanks to the, I guess that's the Mario fan games, uh, Thing. I forgot what the last G stands for. For the useful sprite archives. Mario, Mario Fan, Fan Game, Game Galaxy? Galaxy? Yeah. Thank you. Special thanks to VG Music for all the biddies. Oh gosh, VG Music, that's still a website, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that takes me back. They oh, still that's, run. That's cool. The whole fly backwards through the worlds thing. Mm -hmm. Special it's thanks like to my brother, Sadleski, for the work he did on the new sprites. Good work, dude. <laughs> Good work. Like the uh, Super Mario World credits, where the backgrounds mm -hmm. go kind of in reverse order. Mm -hmm. So Those are they things... Tanuki form right now, or in this game does Raccoon form always look like that? I think Raccoon form always looks like this. I can't think I ever got a regular Tanuki. So I'll never understand why starting with uh, Mario 3D Land, they felt like adding the ears and tail wasn't enough. They had to, for some reason, take the Tanuki outfit. Hey, New Super the Mario Brothers 2 was a game. Hmm. Everyone forgot about it. 
But no, okay. Well, yeah, you're very correct. So what's with that inconsistency then? I actually really <laughs> like came, Mario. It came Mario. out after 3D Land. <laughs> yeah, I actually forgot. I do really like New Super Mario Brothers 2, and I thought the level design in that game was fairly decent, and thought that they made good levels in which flying was sometimes fun to do. So you're right, but it still raises the point. I mean, in every other Mario game since that has the raccoon suit. It always has the kind of full body suit, which I don't understand why they decided to do that. Yeah, I was excited about like uh, Mario New Super 2 just because of that throwback, and then I didn't end up getting a 3DS for quite a while after that. And like New Super decided to go and tank itself with two games and DLC that were all pretty, I don't know, kind of samey. Yeah. I think that New Super Mario Bros. 2 is very nice because the levels aren't made with multiplayer in mind. They can be quite unlinear and there's sometimes like splitting paths where I feel like the, the Wii and the Wii U one, they're very linear because it's like, oh yeah, these are totally intended for you to play with other people and so we're not going to make you know, the level Hello, split in all these different comments. <laughs> prankster comments! Alright, well we're heading back to World 1 to see what these prankster comments are all about. Is that Center Star the warp to World Zero? I think so. I'm trying to see what this prankster comment thing means other than well, grab like the purple coins. purple coins. coins, I assume. Yeah. That's what you the got, coin Your coin count is going down. I see. Okay. Well, we got work ahead of us to do then. I thought this ROM hack was almost over. Jeez, Apparently so did not. I. Oh, is it playing the purple coin theme? Yes, yes it is. I had a MIDI for that on VG MIDIs? <laughs> <laughs> that site is still getting regularly updated last I checked, so... People still want yeah. their MIDIs. I remember that when I used to check that site every day, wondering if, like, Mario, uh, Mario Kart DS music would be up and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I checked it quite a bit in 05, 06. Yep. And now everyone just downloads the official soundtrack. Looped for 30 minutes apiece. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So it's like a submission there. And there's not necessarily a hundred coins. Yeah, dealing with bloopers right now, not the greatest thing. Did I get my mushroom houses back? I could stand to go into one and hopefully get a power up or two. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's not get any Bowsers. I said no Bowsers. <laughs> Almost like you're playing whammy. <laughs> no whammies, no whammies. If that game show was still on, I'd go. I'd go on it. <laughs> Press your luck. Red ones are the time trial, right? We'll see. Uh, I'm about to say. I think. Yeah, red. Yeah. Red was speed, and white was daredevil. Right? I think so. In Galaxy 1. Hmm. Don't imagine we'll have cosmic how... clone races. <laughs> hmm. Interesting how they, they would do the Daredevil run in, in this game, considering you have power-ups. Power yeah, Daredevil was when they only gave you 1 HP, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be too super difficult to program one-hit deaths, even with a power-up. I'd have to assume that doesn't take that too much time. Uh, newer Super Mario Bros. Wii, didn't they? There was like an alternate mode where you die in one hit. In any case, we're gonna find out what the red means, because there's red on this castle. Well, uh, this is a daredevil. I lost my power up. Oh. Oh, okay, so they don't give you a power up. That's that question. Yeah, I entered the level with a penguin suit. I don't have one in the level. So, also, what That's am I doing? Now the question. Now the question is, is: Did you lose lose that power ball together, or will you get it back when you exit? I hope I get it back. That would be crummy if I lost it entirely. Uh, I would have to assume by 
Now, the nature of the Daredevil Comet, there are no power-ups in the level, so... Small, uh, in my case, small Luigi the whole way. Ah, oh, gee, terrible jump. Momentum, right into the lava! Okay, I did get my power up back, but Luigi looks like he's a philosopher from the 18th century. I think the palette got messed up. <laughs> huh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to see fan art of that. Luigi as an 18th century philosopher with fancy white hair. All right, we know the game of this, so our only goal here is to get through to the end. Preferably without dying. Yes, of course. Since I lost my one-up count, and I'm now down to minimal one-ups, uh, and I get nothing. Oh gosh, I'm going to get nothing for actually going against the boss, aren't I? And I guess no tanking a hit then, and i got to wait for Bowser to actually jump over me. <laughs> Gosh, I am not looking forward to if Pini Piranha is one of those daredevils. I am gonna... That, that's basically guaranteed a, a long stream and or save states. Uh, anyway, uh, daredevil... Yeah, nice new Super Mario Brothers DS throwback. Mm-hmm. Oh. Did not clear the piranha plant. Remind me again, is game over on zero lives or after zero lives? It's on you zero. get it zero. Okay, I forgot. Unless they changed it. But I remember it's it's always weird because Mario 3 starts you with four lives. It's like, that's the weirdest number. But then you get a zero, so technically it's five. Yeah, and I just misjudged my momentum right there and fell right into the pit. So, okay, I do have a zero life. I hope I don't lose progress on game over. Save you know state. <laughs> no, you wanna know what? Save and quit. You wanna know why I'm gonna do a save and quit? Cause you restart again and you have four lives. Huh. <laughs> Hacks. Why not? So Miles, have you ever thought about doing a nostalgic night and just doing like a regular playthrough of like the first uh Mario game or Mario 3 or something? Uh well can't say that I have. Um, I have played through Mario World with Higsby, actually, though it has been a while. Uh, can't say I'm super motivated to do go through World by itself at the moment, though. I could see myself doing that again, though. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, the original Mario Bros. Oh gosh, this is reminding me of a conversation I had at a uh, had at work where, like, we were talking about like Super Mario Bros. speedrunning somehow became a discussion at work, and like, I'm like, you know, it's been a while since I played Mario One, but I'm willing to bet you I could beat it in 15 minutes, and I was actually challenged to beat Mario One in 15 minutes, and I came over it in eight four. Ah! Oh no! Very yeah. good effort. Uh, I came over it in eight four. Oh man. How were you doing up to that point? I was doing decently okay, but I died a bunch on 8-2. I somehow got through 8-3 okay, uh, but I made it to 8-4 with like one life left, and I died in the second section really stupidly. Like, I didn't even get to the swimming section or Bowser or the Hammer Bro, so... And no yeah. power-ups in that level, so once you're there, it's like, you're on your own. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, is that with or without shortcuts? I'll obviously beat Mario 1 in 15 minutes. I was doing the speedrun path, minus the really ridiculous tricks that Mario 1 speedrunners do. But it's, you know, the Warped World 4, and then this level, actually, that we're in, 4-2, Warped World 8, so... So yeah, I was doing that path and Probably basically just running straight forward, and, uh, yeah. Ugh. Anyway, continue. I don't know if anybody has yet, but I, I, I dare you to do a reverse boss run of um, 
uh, Super Metroid. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> my my Super Metroid's pretty rusty at the moment. Uh, but I did say if I was going to do Super Metroid, that would be what I would do. So I just re recently rewatched your your let, let sequence break the uh, out of a uh, uh, Metroid Zero Mission and said somebody would dare you to do it, so I'm daring you to do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the dare is on. <laughs> I, just love I recently did the butt. reverse boss run of the original Metroid, <laughs> which has all but two bosses. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I um, guess Mother Brain counts as a boss, but usually Mother Brain is outside of the reverse boss order sequence. So you're saying you beat Ridley first? Uh, yeah. Or is that how it works in that game? Yeah. No. Yes. Met is the first the first Metroid. There's Creed, Ridley, and Mother Brain, and if you did Ridley first, it was technically reverse boss order. Yeah, because you're you're just... supposed to do Kraid first. Kraid's easier to get oh, to, and uh, I guess I wouldn't argue that Kraid's any easier or tougher than Ridley. Because like Metroid One, if you know how to do it, you can cheese both bosses. So, but well, that's correct. I did do Ridley first, but they're both just like they're gonna stand in the middle of the room and not move. So mash that missile button. Whoever yeah. has the most health wins. <laughs> the first Metroid. <laughs> I've tried so many times to play through the, the the first Metroid game, but I keep I I just can't get through it. It's very tedious. I mean, I played it on real hardware and everything. So every time you turn the game back on, you start with 30 health. So you have to grind for like half an hour to get all your health back, and it's just like, ugh. and then if you die or you like lose a lot of it, you have to do it again, and and you can't even have both the spazzer and the ice beam at the same time. So it, it's it's such a weird game. Does it save your progress? Um, I was playing on the Famicom Disk System, so it does actually save, but on the NES version, it's passwords. Oh, okay. Passwords, which, if I remember right, the actual password system in Metroid had a really weak checksum, and as a result, it's really easy to generate a password for that game. Or you can just use the Justin Bailey cheat and have everything! Yes. <laughs> I, I love- You have a really- Sorry. Oh, you first. It's, but you have a really big collection of um, video games. You happen to have a game called Takeshi's Challenge, and if so, have you played it? <laughs> I do. I have it in the box with the manual and all that jazz. And Takeshi's Challenge, uh, I know quite well. I have played it. I'm not that insane that I would ever beat it, probably. But <laughs> it's, it's definitely a thing that I've... I think is, you know, any collection should have a copy of Takeshi's Challenge, just because of how ridiculous of a game it is. I've seen a review of it, and it has been, it has been said to be one of the hardest, hardest games ever created. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, and some people say it, it was actually Takeshi's, like, spite of people who find joy in playing video games, that he was trying to spite them by making <laughs> such a ridiculous game. But yeah, it's really silly. Oh, this pipe is disabled. Because uh, I could definitely go up the pipe in the uh, original version of this level. Okay. Actually, probably good to know. I just have to worry about getting the coins then. You know, I think I know what all the, st what all the star coins were for. Probably for, thi for this. Well, I am getting, like, extra star coins after, uh, you know, beating these levels, so I think our uh, World Zero, which I have to see if I can access or not, I don't think I can. I think our World Zero's access is dependent on the star coin, so uh, that was World One star coin, so we'll head on over to Star Road. Come on, Star Road. Which button is Star Road? Oh, it's Start Twice. Eh, that is a negative to <laughs> our middle star. I, I think our middle star is how we get to that world zero, so I think we're going to have to do all these comet challenges. Uh, let's keep going, though. The night is young. I'm about to say, you can see the ROM hack now, XB. <laughs> I can see the ROM hack? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I get to see all the things that I didn't see before. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get to see, see it, too. I've been listening to it at work, work after, after we close, close I pop on my headphones and listen to it when I can. If you're if you're still streaming. 
That's appreciated. How am I gonna get these ones under the bridge, though? Fly. Oh, no, you can swim, swim. in that waterfall, can't you? Ooh, good point. This, this isn't Mario 2, this is Mario 3. Yeah! <laughs> that, that ain't Mario 2, that's Mario 3. Uh, good point, XB. Th that totally got me, because that's not something you do in Mario 2. Mario 2, you ride the logs! <laughs> Mario 2, water is always death. I guess, uh, yeah. Actually, just about to ask, was there any swimming sections at all in Mario, in Mario Bros. 2? No. I don't no. believe there's anything to do with water. If there's water, it's just you fall right through to your death. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a big waterfall level, but you don't swim in it, so... Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, it would, it would, the waterfall would be an actual waterfall and just be, you know, pretty background scenery. Hello, everyone. Hey, good evening, Bajan. How are we doing tonight? Good. Alright, about to say we're in the middle of Mario 3 mix. We did actually beat the game, but now the game is challenging us with some comments, so... <laughs> actually, That's... if you think about it, we could say we interrupt this playing of Super Mario Bros. 3 to bring you Mario Galaxy. <laughs> yeah! I'm about to say, this is a galaxy mechanic, and, and I, I like this mechanic in that it, uh, well, I guess it helps bring some more content out of games and levels that already exist, which I think is a good idea. Uh, not something I've actually seen a ROM hack do before, too, either. So, General Kenobi, I know you were watching the stream. What did you think about the Save the World side of Fortnite? It's interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, definitely agreed there, uh, Why Yoshi. This done wrong, uh, and maybe uh, the jury may be still out on whether it was done wrong here in 3Mix. Uh, re repeating content could be a big issue. I, I think one of the big reasons why it wasn't an issue in Galaxy, and I'm going to make an argument this applies here too as well, is that this is technically totally optional. This is me and my masochistic self being like, oh, I want to 100% this, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, whereas in Mario Galaxy, and I suppose this game as well, if you just want to beat it, no need. <laughs> so. See, not even the comets in Mario Galaxy are what I had the problem with. It's when they wanted you to beat the entire game again with Luigi to unlock the Oh final my level. gosh. Ugh. See, I did yeah. not approve that at all. That is kind of the weak point of Galaxy. We were talking about possibly replaying a Galaxy last week, Higsby, and I brought up the point if I did replay Galaxy 1, I would probably just use my save file that has both Mario and Luigi completed so I wouldn't have to play the game twice. I totally agree with you, that was a bit much to have to play the game twice to get 100% completion. I mean, the the last level is not is really more of a like, tiny little bonus compared to Galaxy 2. So, you're not missing a ton if you never play it through it again as Luigi. I actually blame that partly for why I was still kind of burned out on Mario Galaxy by the time the second one came out. It's kind of a shame. <laughs> I never completed Gal Galaxy 1. Like, sorry, wise. I don't think there's- oh god, I'm stuck in this area now. I was about to say, I don't think there's any reason for me to go in here. This is just a star coin, and oh, I can't go back. Uh, I guess I'm taking this way then. Shy guy, don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Keep going! <laughs> Next thing you know, I just falls off the cliff. Like, <laughs> I'm done with this life, bye. The shy guy just picks me up and throws me into the munchers. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're that, or Yoshi comes in and makes him extinct. Oh lord, this jump. Thank you, so slow has down! That has that dairy actually been, like, fully known that why shy guys are the way they are? Uh, 
Oh, good lord. He does spit fireballs. Ah! Oh! Uh, I swear these comments are going to be the worst just because of the no midway point, no power ups thing. Ugh. <laughs> Those fireballs. Wow. I mean, it's a Mario 2 level. You could have expected it. But yeah, dang. <laughs> these are long. Oh. That's Miles, supposed to I be like the be beginning a... of 4-2. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Miles, I think it might be a good idea to implement your state, your old save state policy. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. That's if they start working. In any case, I need a new set of lives, so we're gonna restart again. Is there no good way to farm lives in this hack? The, not aware of one. If somebody knows one, let me know. There, there almost certainly is, I just haven't noticed. Mario 3 wasn't the greatest with its unlimited 1-up tricks. No, Mario World had far more opportunity for that. Did it really? I'm not remembering any in World, either. World, I'm and sure world... there are times where... Well, I mean, like, besides jumping on things repeatedly in water, or... or such. In, uh, Vanilla Secret in world, there... 2, I think. The first oh, one... Oh, yeah, yeah, Vanilla the... Secret yeah. 2 it might as well be infinite. So, yeah. Here, have 40 coin er, 40 lives. And there's also the um the, fr uh, the sunken ship level. There's a cannon in the very first room that you can home lives on, or yeah, rack up lives on because it's underwater. So as long as you don't touch the ground, you can just keep jumping on it. In a Force of Evolution One, if you get a star and book book it, I think it's about halfway through the level. You can get I think twenty or thirty lives. Doesn't it start? And isn't there like that weird glitch you can do too? Um, in that level? Yeah, yeah, if you use a cape and just keep jumping on Wigglers, you can get, like, ludicrous numbers of points and, and lives. <laughs> like, it'll just give That's you nine. It, it'll max out your score counter. Good old... Yeah. Who knows why why the Wigglers, they must have just somehow forgotten to put a cap on how many bounces you've gotten. Because then it just starts reading garbage data out of, like, array. <laughs> Out of range. I I found this out today. Apparently, there's gonna be a Teen Titans live action show. Oh, what a pile of junk! That is why I save stated. The guy get you again? Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, that inconsistent pattern. Those guys are the worst in Mario Three. Good thing they probably... appear in a single level. <laughs> And you could it, probably uh, just jump over that whole gap. Yeah, like, that's probably the intent. <laughs> intent taken now. There we go. Right near the end, too. Ugh, I'm still arguing that that's total garbage. We got more Daredevil to do, too. Oh, they left out the best part of this level, where you have to fall down to the boss. That'd be kind of obnoxious to do with no hits. <laughs> <laughs> that in Mario 3 doesn't really support, like, screen more than two hi screen high. No, I guess it does. Never mind. And it does mix and match, so I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I can literally see one the like me knowing that I would probably put a trap here. Somebody would like it would be a jag move. Somebody literally the creator put a thwomp right at one of the two spots and to where you couldn't see it while you're going up. I'm trying to remember actually. <laughs> does Super Mario World vertical levels wrap around on the edges? No, that's not something that. It natively has. I think people have created custom sprites for that, though. Like, is the... Uh, I, I don't recall any of the levels actually giving you the opportunity... Well, I guess Gnarly does, doesn't it? Or does it have ropes on the side? Um, yeah, it has ropes on the side. Yeah, so you uh, never at know! The, at least the right side of the screen does. The left side? I think it does, too. I don't think there's any way you ever actually touch the sides, now that I think about it. Um... Mario 2 and 3 rap always, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Is 
So, Higsby, since you're here, Bayesian and myself are going to be taking a trip to Canada sometime this year. Is there anything you recommend us going to see besides Niagara Falls? I think that John Crowley, that's on the fully opposite side, I think. Hmm? No. Niagara Falls is in Canada. I mean, it's on both. It's on the US and Canada. Um, anything else you should see? I mean, Toronto is a thing to see, I guess. <laughs> Canada, <laughs> see game or Canada is a big country. <laughs> yeah. I mean, area wise, uh, about as big as the US. Or bigger? It, I don't it, actually know. I think it's is a it Niagara, is, is it Niagara, Niagara Falls on the east side of Canada? Uh, no, the... it's kind of center south. Okay. Um, you might be thinking of Nova Scotia on the east. But yeah, if you have the chance, uh, go to Toronto. I used to really have put Toronto in high regard, and then I went to Tokyo, and Toronto's like trash now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a real city. Yeah, really. <laughs> and there goes the star. Ah, uh, he didn't. Wait, is this a comment where you're not supposed to get any power-ups? Actually, no, no this, this is the purple, purple coin. Purple coins. Ah. There's more than a hundred because your coin counter isn't going down. That's true. Uh, there's a lot of them, that's oh, for sure. It's going down. Was it really necessary to put that many purple coins in? I feel like they could have left out a lot of these. It's kind of just too many. It's overkill. What comments were there? There was the purple coin, uh, Prankster, Speedrun, and Daredevil. Was there any others? Prankster is just the name for all of them. Last I checked. Yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah, in the original game, there were the cosmic ones, the fast flow ones, which are only in a couple of levels, and then there's Speedrun, Daredevil, and Purple Coin. Well, I don't remember going in this pipe. Did I just totally miss it when I was in World 2, or what? In any case, we're going in it now, and it looks like we have an underwater, upside-down first level of the game. Hmm. Whoa! Yeah, it feels really weird, I'll tell you that. So is there a death in this? <laughs> yeah, is the ceiling death? Yeah, I... Well, Probably. For science. Well, Probably. For, your, for science. I am about to say, that looks like death. I don't think we need any further confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you loved doing science. I, I, I think I could say pretty conclusively that this is a very <laughs> high probability of death. And also, having to deal with these... Oh, god damn it, that's right, they explode! Oh, I hate these things. <sighs> he may like doing science, but he's not the Mythbusters. <laughs> True. I don't have to test every single pit, and I can say with pretty reasonable certainty when one is death. I mean, at least you know that this time safe states work, so... But it's oh, interesting, so like... Power up. Oh wait, no, it's that one. Mushroom, what are you doing? No! Ah. Uh, I cannot deal with these things in this level. Penguin suit time. Because there's no way to kill him, huh? Usually you can just knock him out and then you're good. The problem is you can't jump on anything when you're underwater. <laughs> wow, they totally glitch up when they freeze. Uh, I'll take it. I haven't seen what? it yet. <laughs> this actually raises an interesting point that that um. That white block that you can go, they can go through in in the original game. I wonder if you can do do that in this. It's hard to even stand in those areas, so I don't think so. I mean, I only know of two of them. The one in the first level, and then one I think I think it was three or four where you got where you got the um, the warp bristle. What's that? The, the those uh, white. Background platforms they can go through in the rich in the original Mario 3. Oh yes. Hmm. Mario got hit. Yep. Where am I? What happened here? 
You're in the one one dash two, the original game. And I couldn't enter the pipe. Wait. Hmm. That is a pipe uh, I am supposed to enter. Took a while for you to die. It was you were just off off screen. What was going on? I don't know. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it's death, but it's like, why is it, why is it that type of death? Like, hey, okay, so I got zero lives, and I'm not dealing with the shenanigans. You're gonna hit a save state right there. Nope, 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 going back. Alright, so did this really accomplish much of anything hitting this? Other than getting me stuck here with these stupid- Ugh, I hate these goddamn enemies! Impossible to dodge when you're fucking underwater! Just keep moving, otherwise they get in the way and you cannot dodge them! Miles, be careful of your keyboard. Okay. <laughs> Please. Remember what happened the last time? Wait, what happened last time? He got so mad that he ended up ended up punching a key, uh, a couple keys off his keyboard. Wait, was that the for the three D stuff? That that was that was for the the cor course eleven blue coins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright. You can go through that green. that star coin? What? Oh! Okay, go through the platform. Well, this is one of the weirder levels I've seen. <laughs> yeah. In all of Mario 3 hacking. All, all I agree is that this should not become a... a... my... uh... Mario level in the future, say I. <laughs> oh, definitely agreed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought I got three keys, but I guess there's more. <laughs> Convenient platform so you don't die. Oh, this. Wow, that's really retro. Wow. Piece of the cake. Playing classic Mario Bros with no added frills. <laughs> mm hmm. I do think that's a cool way to work those games in to this hack. Mm hmm. And also show off some of the unused bonus room like content. Alright, well, we got everything on a world two, so let's get some extra lives by saving and quitting, and uh, let's head on over to world three. It keeps spawning me at world eight whenever I start back up, so. I think I'll have to head out after this next world, but uh, good luck if you continue to do more cleanup tonight. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'm about to say I got done. I think I actually last through. I mentioned we might be doing some... Oh, wow, okay. I totally hit both Bowser Juniors right away. That sucked. Uh, I thought I was going to do some uh, 64 last impact tonight. It doesn't look like it, so... And, and I was also expecting maybe we'll, you know, enter World Zero, but... I guess we're working towards entering World Zero at this point, so... I, th I think there was a key in every even-numbered world. So, four is probably all there are. Could be wrong, obviously, but it looked like there were four levels on that world map.
Kind of vaguely related to how the white mushroom houses in the original Mario 3 had different items based on whether they were in odd or even worlds. Hello, slowdown! <laughs> Alright, so we know we, we don't need to collect any collectors at all, we just need to get to the end without dying. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? The flagpole is just after these guys! <laughs> Damn it! better this time, so I think I could pretty much just run straight, provided I don't jump, I should be good. Yep, just run straight! <laughs> right at the end, way to go, Miles Luigi. Alright, well, on the bright side we have purple coins this level, and the purple coins so far haven't been any as difficult as the daredevils, so... Which is kinda true to Galaxy, the daredevils were depending on the level, but usually the more difficult are the challenges, so... I don't know, man. Purple Coins is where I lost, like, the majority of my lives playing through Galaxy last year. Really? Red Dot Purple Coins are the worst. Oh. I forget. I think I died once or twice to Major Burrows Daredevil Run and none to the others. Hmm. I'm probably thinking of the fact that the ultimate challenge, the Grandmaster run, perfect run, is a daredevil. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I suppose if you include that one. Now, that was Galaxy 2. Alright, before we go into that pipe, we're almost done collecting these coins. Uh, so let's see if we actually needed to go in there or not. Uh, five coins remain. Oh, there's just a boo standing in my way. Hey, you, you, you climb up here. Climb up here. Yeah, get out of my way. There we go. I like how the boo keeps track of which direction you're facing, even when you're facing the vine. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what its uh, AI was programmed to do there on the vine, because sometimes it was climbing, sometimes it wasn't. Is this death? No, it's not. Okay, I couldn't see the ground. Also, the music is really freaking out this level. I am not sure why. Oh, yeah, that music's weird. It's like... That's, yeah. Huh. This is the one level where you had the benefit of the penguin suit uh, for this area. That made it way easier. Oh gosh. Eh, still were able to do it though. Hmm. I do not like where you are flying right now, Dry Bones. And I guess this guy decided to just despawn. I'll take it. We've seen disappearing body parts and now despawning enemies as well. And oh my gosh, a power up. Oh my gosh, a power up. I 
I have a question for you, Higsby. Mm hmm When was the last time you played Mario Land 2? Because this is Mario Land 2 World. It would be when I Let's Played it, I guess. Mm, almost three years ago now, I think. It was 2015 summer. Okay. Not well, long. Two of us played through it, like, earlier this year due to that hack. Mm-hmm. Not sure if you're oh, aware, yeah. but uh, there's a hack that adds color in Luigi to Super Mario uh, Land 2. That's right, you did play that. <laughs> I like the way you stated that. <laughs> they added color, and Luigi's that, too. <laughs> <laughs> when I did my Let's Play, I tried to... I used the Super Game Boy, and I tried to find color palettes that suited each level, so that was kind of fun. Yeah, I, li I think he did a really good job. Uh, I forget... What, what the guy's name that did the the hack was, but he came up with some pretty decent palettes. Hmm. Uh, that was just a blind leap of faith, and it didn't work. The old Mario Maker strat. <laughs> 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 just take a cloud up to the top of the level and then take a flying leap right before it runs out. Has Spin anybody played times. Mario Maker since the, since the Miiverse disappeared? Must be freaky now. I have not, no. Uh, I actually haven't plugged in my Wii U ever since I got my Switch, so... My Wii U's been sitting in a backpack where I suspect it will probably sit uh, until there is a good reason for me to pull it out. Uh, but since Nintendo's been really busy re-releasing titles from the Wii U on the Switch, I fear that that may be never, so... Mm -hmm. The Switch yeah, will I'll, sit I'll... dormant until Sonic Mania comes out for me, probably. Or the... the... Uh version of it, whatever. Yeah, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Well, what I'm... exactly does it add? So, I'm definitely buying it, and I can explain Higsby. So, uh, there's gonna be Sonic Mania, I think it's Sonic Mania Plus, actually, uh, which is a couple things. First, there's actually gonna be physical releases, which, hooray! Um, and second off, there's gonna be, uh, um, what is it, Mighty the uh, Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel as additional characters. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I, me and John Kenobi's power cable for our, our Wii U is in my room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but like the most exciting things for me, oop, I just saved and quit again, is definitely the fact that I could get a physical copy. Because uh, mm -hmm. like there was that collector's edition for Sonic Mania, I even saw a couple boxes of it at Midwest Gaming Classic, but it's like, no, I want a cartridge! And, and now they yeah. are like, Sonic Mania Plus, it'll be on cartridges! It's like, OMG, I'm oh. buying this. My brother so is super stoked about the whole, like, getting to buy a physical copy thing. I, th I, I think it's really hilarious. I mean, I definitely prefer f physical copies, too, but, uh... I'd rather the digital some, because that way I have to, don't have to worry about finding space for all the discs and, like, whatnot, and the possibility of losing a disc. I, I do is understand... There any, is there uh, any new levels or anything? Uh, shoot, I'd have to look at it again. I, I want to say there was something more than just the characters and the physical uh, cartridges, but uh, it's uh, eluding me at the moment, so... No, I haven't played Mario Maker since, uh, recently, but I have considered it a couple of times. I still watch Carl Sagan uh, 42's videos all the time. He's basically my proxy for having actually played Mario Maker in the last year. <laughs> Are there still people out there actually making levels for it? Oh yeah, I mean, wow. the, he's hosting these giant contests, like, I think monthly or at least weekly. That's cool. I think it's such a shame that Mario Maker came out, like, right at the end of the Wii U's life. I feel like that should have been a launch title. Everyone would have run to the store and wanted to build their own Mario levels, and then... Every year, it release a new, like, like, you know, a Zelda maker, or like a Pokemon maker, you know, th just... The Wii U was perfect for games like that, and yet they waited until the Wii U was pretty much dead to release the best game that utilized the Wii U. It was oh, ridiculous. Yeah. What would a Pokemon maker be? Would it be make your own yeah, Pokemon? I don't, know, I don't know how you could really do that for... Like, I don't know how you could A Mario make Kart maker. I realized after I said it that it's something Nintendo would probably never do, but, I mean, let's look at it. There's tons of Pokemon ROM hacks out there. I think it's, I mean... And then I think there's that Dragon Quest builder, so, like, there's, art, there's other things that allow you to make RPGs, but that's kind of what I'm getting at. Just, the Wii U should have been the machine that allowed 
creativity like that, and yet every game was just like, oh yeah, you can, you know, play it without your TV. But we're not actually going to make the Wii U controller, you know, do anything innovative. And that's why it didn't catch on, I guess. They, they, they tried with Star Fox Zero, and then it just kind of proved the point that the console was, well, not very good. I'll miss the touchscreen and separate uh, dock, like a TV screen, when they inevitably do another Mario Maker for the Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah that, but, that one does feel inevitable, but we'll see. It will be strange, though, not having, like, the stylus-styled touchscreen, and so it's more of, like, a finger one. Mm, so. they'll, just, they'll just make it you paint terrain, like uh, <laughs> the Smash stage builder, Smash 4. Which, I mean, people won't shut up about their slopes, so maybe that's what people want. <laughs> Mario Maker 2, now with slopes! <laughs> we save slopes for the sequel. Just imagine all of the physics bugs that already exist in Mario Maker just compounded a zillion times over, and it's no surprise they haven't added slopes. <laughs> Collision detection gets weird when you have to deal with non-tile stuff. It's bad enough with tiles. I could see, like, one thing that I would definitely would want is a Mario Kart Maker. Like, you, you get, like, you have all the stuff from, like, all the old Mario Karts. Like, you can choose how you want the Mario Kart style to be and whatnot. Like, all the best ones get put into, like, you can do tournaments against other players and whatnot. Well, there's definitely been racing games that have done the create-your-own-track thing. I think that could apply to Mario Kart. Um... Yeah. Not sure how well that would work online. <laughs> like, you still have your old Mario Kart stuff where you can, like, do Grand Prix and whatnot to unlock, like, new, unlock new, like, stuff to create your tracks with. But you fully get, like, to be able to make your own tracks and whatnot. So, you feel like you're, it feels like you're playing regular Mario Kart. But added on, you get to make your own tracks for people to play, race on, and whatnot. So it's mm. like Mario Maker, but Mario Kart. I could definitely see that being a perk of the next Mario Kart, which, well, we'll see. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe are very, uh, very good for what they are. Uh, it's hard to see Nintendo coming up with another idea for Mario Kart, seeing as they've done flying and now anti-gravity, so uh, what would be next, you know? <laughs> Let's just hope that they don't take the same route that they did with all the Mario Party. <laughs> Everybody it's rides in the in same the car. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! Ever since Mar Mario Party Nine, they literally should have just stopped. Because Mario Party was all about you going up against each other, getting as many stars as you can, and like doing mini games to earn coins to buy the stars. Now it's like we're not even gonna have a shop system. We're not gonna have that awesome mini game system that we had. We're gonna just have we're gonna have everybody in the same car, doing running, only going through the the map one time. And to see who can get more star like mini stars and whatnot. Mario Party needs to be online. I'm telling you. Yes. Uh, one, two, three HD collection with online. I would buy like 50 copies of it. Just <laughs> I would buy it too. Three, five, and six. The rest could all just be skipped, as far as I'm concerned. To me, Mario Kart eight and six could definitely be used online. I would definitely buy those too. I'm about to say, there was a recent release of, what, Mario Party The Top 100? That game could have been so much more than what it ended up being. Was it really horrible? I don't think well, there were any maps, right? It was just the main yeah. game? Ugh. Yes, that, that was the thing. Like, if you made a Mario oh, yeah. Party and, like, had the best mini games and then, like, had online, it would probably sell really good. Mm -hmm. And the best maps. And the mm -hmm. best maps, yes. I think the last good Mario Party game was probably Mario Party 8. That one was good. That one, DS that... came out after 8? I think DS came out yeah, after 8. Yeah, DS came after 8. Because before, well, with 8 you had DK, then after 8 DS-wise you did not have DK as a space. 
I suppose you'd have Bowser's the... spaces, but you'd have DK spaces. Uh, eight was the last one where you're actually individual people rolling around a board still, right? No, yeah, I think DS was the last one. Ah, uh, okay. Because as soon as nine came out, that's when everybody was in the exact same car and vehicle, mm -hmm. whatever, <laughs> whatever you chose it as, and then, and then you never got any, barely any mini games to play on. All I remember yeah. of eight was just horrible motion control games. Like they, uh. they did that so much better in every game, like afterward, including all the Wii parties. Like, I don't know if I could go back to 8. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motion what was controls. What the microphone in 6 and 7? It was used for, like, these really small, short mini-games that could have been easily done with those. Where you had to, like, name fruit. <laughs> I, I, I like the fruit <laughs> naming one. Unless you, unless you mean the board event in 7, that was kind of lame. Yeah. Speak Up the Quiz game was kind of cool. Hmm. I you know ne I never had it because I never knew you could do a mic with with a like, GameCube. You can I always did it with a controller because I I didn't we never had a mic for it. So it's like you always had to use a controller. But nowadays, you, if if they brought that back, oh, a lot of people would be using a mic for it. This conversation's reminding me that Higsby and I, like, I was sharing a screenshot with both of you of Pop-Tart and Higsby of me uh, playing through Kirby Star Allies, just doing a second save file, uh, collecting as little as possible, getting through all the way to World 2, because at the end of World 2, you unlock Meta Knight, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, you Pop-Tart and I, we might want to do something like what we did with uh, Return of Dreamland, where we play through it, and he's uh, Meta Knight, and I'm Kirby. The uh, thing is, you have to, you know, beat World 2 to get Meta Knight. Uh, so I shared a screenshot being like, yeah, I have this save file already. Uh, and then, like, Higsby and I got in a conversation about how cool it would be if we could play Kirby Star Allies together online. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, that would be so awesome. I think Nintendo really needs to step up their online game because, I mean, just it's so natural these days to have friends who, you know, don't live on the same street as you anymore. And I think that it would just be so cool to play so many of Nintendo's games with other people, but they just insist on creating multiplayer games, but everyone has to be in the same room, which isn't realistic for everyone these days. Well, so. The only one that I know of that actually went off that and like went fully online was uh, Splatoon. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, Splatoon like, and Mario Kart seem to be like the only two things, really. I mean, it's yeah. the competitive games. Like, it's never the cooperative ones. Yeah, I mean, the even Mario Party. Triforce, like, you know. Triforce Heroes? I don't remember. Maybe that was online. Hmm. Yeah, Nintendo would definitely need to step up their their online capabilities. Because right now, the main ones that, like, console-wise, like, consoles, um, Sony and and Microsoft have taken over the online capabilities for like full on. But Sony and Sony doesn't want to like join up with Xbox and any of cross plays. They're like, no, we're we're gonna keep our games private to 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 just um to to us and PC. Well, that's, that's understandable, because, you know, competitiveness and whatnot. Um, but uh, I was uh, also thinking of the fact that, you know, Nintendo wants to charge for their online service soon, and if you want to get people like me to pay for it, stuff like being able to play Star Allies Online would be a way to do that. Oh, damn it, did I really hit both Bowser Juniors? I did. Ugh. So, yeah. I know there's one other game coming to Nintendo that will be online based play. Fort Fortnite Epic Game is bringing their Battle Royale to to Nintendo, but Nintendo is like helping out with the Nintendo one to make it like Mario based, like fully like it, it's their own version of the Fortnite Battle Royales. Hmm. Okay. So you'll you'll be seeing that it'd be mainly Mario based stuff. Like you'll have like items as stars. Nobody knows what the items what items are gonna be doing what yet. But it's like speculation that 
stars are gonna be like your shield and whatnot. Uh, I would anticipate that. You know what would be another game? Last I checked, it didn't have online Mario vs. Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. That made <laughs> people really like that, the fact that the way it. Because it wasn't old. Nintendo had no control of that. It was only like the people behind Rabbit. I mean, to be fair, yeah, that was and basically Ubisoft's work and getting permission to use Mario characters. Jesus Christ, this, 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 the albatross has scared me, and then I jumped erroneously. It looks like we're going to be doing this level again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I bring that up, because last I checked, the game it's based off of XCOM. You could play cooperatively online. I'd have to look into it again, because I've never actually played XCOM, but it... Well, once again, makes sense, and I, I'm friends with Higsby. Higsby lives a 10-hour drive away. I can't do a 10-hour drive every other week, so... <laughs> 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 Nor could I afford an airplane, and even if I could afford an airplane, that'd be like a couple hours every day sitting in an airport terminal because I have to prepare ahead of time, and you know, you have to prepare for being able to get through TSA security and everything, and prepare for delays, and it's just like, yeah. If it's a 10 hour job, then just do the 10 hours. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, I, I was thinking that differently, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was fully thinking that, like, in the opposite direction I, that I was thinking. It's like Nintendo, the internet exists. I know, because I'm a network administrator. I know it very well. Use it! <laughs> yeah, no, I. The, the guy. That's tried to code like a few things in a uh, in like good synchronous multiplayer is slightly crying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I will say the new Smash Brothers has a good online mode. Wait, XB, did you hear what what um it's coming out on the twenty first of September? Well, there's been a date announced for something? No. What's that? Spyro. The first year oh. coming back out. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you think but of that, Higsby? Switch HD remakes. But not on the Switch. Nope. Not yet. I may have heard something that it may come out on the, on the Switch. Along with the, um, the Crash Bandicoot remake, they may also put that on the Switch. Yeah, I think you the Crash one's been confirmed, so we'll probably see the Spyro one at some point, too. That's great to see that um, both of them had collections. Yeah, Evil Popstar posted a link about, like, a rumor of the Spyro collection coming to the Switch, and if that's the case, that's the version that I'm buying, because I have not <laughs> played through any of the Spyro games, and, uh, they were kind of Evil Popstar's childhood, and I kind of owe myself to play through those games, you know? Okay, no, Miles? Miles, before you get the, the HD remakes, you'd need to play the original. No, I need no, to no, play no, the no. originals on the PlayStation 1 with all the really blocky-looking 3D models. The... <laughs> Amidst all this discussion of, like, Spyro and Crash and Banjo-Kazooie and all these games that, like, everyone my age grew up with, like, I just feel so out of place. Because hmm. I, I kind of joined in with the whole video gaming thing in 6th gen Nintendo, and I feel like that's just going to be the most forgotten generation of, uh, of, like, Nintendo games in particular. It's because they've made no effort to put things forward past the Wii. Mm -hmm. Mouse, if you if you do play it, can you do a blind let's play so that we so everybody gets your like initial reactions of it? Oh man, uh, no guarantees, but you planted the idea in my head, so uh, we'll <laughs> see. The, the only way we get what Evil Pop Tart got when you when you end up showing him like. Yoshi's Island, DS, Mario, Paper well, Mario for the Wii. Well, if Spyro transforms into a helicopter, you're not going to get a WTF out of me. You're going to get a... Oh, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Yeah, if Nintendo... If Nintendo ever acknowledged that, like... Kirby and the Amazing Mayor or Air Ride were things that could be played multiplayer. Oh my gosh! Like, yes! They would, like, just never, they could just never put anything online ever again after Smash, and it's like, don't care. <laughs> You've put out the perfect games. <laughs> That's all that matters. 
Also, yikes. Quicksand and all the tosses with no hits. Yeah, I gotta jump on top of these things instead of futzing around with the sand. That's for sure. I better let this one just drop his bomb. Ugh. I'm pretty sure if, if Nintendo was thinking on like, okay, let's try and get ahead of the other consoles. Let's start thinking of more like online based games. They would definitely get ahead in, in everything. Other than PC. Oh, why did I go in this pipe again? Because uh. wasn't Nintendo the very, very first company to get to be like done first in console gaming? Before PlayStation and Xbox, they were before those, but like before Nintendo, there was uh, Atari and ColecoVision, and if you want to get really, really old school, there was uh, uh what's the name of that thing? Um, it's the one that Odyssey. you're basically yes, thank you. It's basically a dot. Thank you, Higsby. Oh, okay. I'm good. Hold on. I'm. I have. Okay, I'm gonna have to find this video. So. Is any, everybody in this, in so far, seen the Jumanji movie? I actually have. The second one. You're, you're yeah, talking I, about I the new fight. one that came out with The Rock, right? Yeah. I have. So, are you going to spoil it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, well, oh, for you only, room. I'm, I'm going to send, send you a direct message of a video. It's everything wrong with Jumanji, and, like, it's from CinemaSins, so, you know, like, it, it's very good. Like, they just okay. go on about what, what could be wrong with the movie. Okay, I'm about to say, if you say it's good, I'll take a look at it. Normally, uh, CinemaSins is really, really nitpicky about things, uh, to a point where it's not really funny, but uh, if this one's funny, I'll check it out. Ugh. Oh. I mean, I, I, and... I don't watch them often, but it's something like that, I was like, no, I might as well watch it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, jeez, okay, what happened to that bomb? Okay, bombs away! No, 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 we're not gonna do that. We are gonna do that. There we go. What? I just saw why you said, like, oh, there it goes. Right limitations are out in full force. <laughs> oh, jeez, I missed my coin block and then the momentum carried me right into the Piranha Plant at the rate I'm going. I might have to reset for more lives. Yeah. This level's so, definitely uh, been kicking my butt. Well, I'll be streaming the next set, well, the next part of the first Uncharted game Friday. That's if I'm not tired. Uh, good luck and have fun. <laughs> In Mario games, usually the desert worlds and levels aren't my favorite, but I feel like that changed in uh, in Mario Odyssey. Probably because the music was amazing. Odyssey is like the sole exception, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. The yeah. only exception, and it's <laughs> such a good level. Such mm -hmm. a good uh, like introduction to how the game works. Yeah. Like, I really think those first three levels, like the the Cap Kingdom, Cascade Kingdom, and that, are just such a great build-up. Mm -hmm. I Absolutely. wish they could have... Well, I wish every level could have been as fun to explore as Sand Kingdom. Which most I really of them like were. The, um, like... The Mechanical Forest one after, which I'm forgetting the name of. I thought that was... I, I did that one next, and, and not the, uh, the Lake Kingdom. And I thought that yeah. was a good fourth level. Yeah, it was alright. Uh, I, I think it gets a little confusing to, to traverse. Like, there's not enough visual differentiation between parts of the level. Mm-hmm. That's my only complaint with that one. Does anybody know the, like, min the price right now for a Switch? Uh, should be $300 if I remember right. I don't think that's dropped either. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think it's changed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Well, come up to Canada and you can pay 400 for it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll take the 300 No. Uh, cause my, Good old Luigi's jump pipe. 
working ever in your favor in this level. <laughs> uh, this level is complete shenanigans without a power-up, because I want to say I got hit here too with power-ups and just tanked the hit. What's with that weird block at the top that doesn't match the rest of them? There's a block at the top? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I, I I'm not noticing it. It was like part of the ceiling. <laughs> Nice, nice sprites there. <laughs> huh. Well, I have no. I feel like these power ups aren't really gaining you all that much. You can only use them in half of these comet levels. Yeah, and That's... they're typically the far easier half anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they're they're collectible. I might I might as well pick them up. Is that our last comment? Yes, it is. Oh god, no! Not not a sun level with a daredevil. Ugh. Here we go. You're kidding, right? No. Just remember, the sun moves at a fixed pattern. Uh, although on an auto scroller, it's probably a lot more obvious. <laughs> She's probably really easy to dodge in an auto scroller. <laughs> It seems like if you just stay in, like, the middle center, it will never hit you. Yeah, the arc's <laughs> always the same, but, like, the thing that tricks you out is the camera movement, normally. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't notice that the, uh, the rippers on the world map spell 3-mix until just now. That's pretty great. Good reference to the original. Can we just say this now? A whole lot- this is a whole lot of nope.jpg. Of level. I would say this level's not that bad, actually. Like, look, now he's invincible at the top. Nothing can hurt him. Well, I mean, I guess it's <laughs> Nothing can hurt him! <laughs> Nothing <laughs> can oh, possibly happen. I fell face first into a cheap cheap. It hurt a lot, thanks. <laughs> well, well, boss, what can we say? You were hungry. <laughs> you just find that good protein. I want to try fish, finally, you know? <laughs> uh. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad. It's just, the moment I saw the sun and the fact that this was a daredevil, I'm like, oh, God, no. So, but, uh, thankfully that wasn't too bad. That was World 5's comments by the looks of it. Yes, indeed. Uh, and by the looks of the time, I say let's call it there for a stream. Uh, next time, uh, we're going to see if we can get to World 0. We're going to continue on with the comments. We have comments in World 6, 7, and 8 still to go. Uh, and I'm going to assume after doing that we make it to World 0. Uh, presumably, so... Uh, that's what we're currently looking at. I don't know how much longer doing the comments in World Zero is going to be. Whether that's going to be a stream, a stream and a half, two streams, a billion streams. Hopefully not. But uh, uh, that'll be it for me tonight. Anybody got any closing thoughts? That was fun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Hey, thanks for joining, Hingsby. Oh, that was fun. I'm about to say, JD Aster, Jono Kenobi, Bajan. Nothing I have. Good stuff. Have a good night. Yep. Uh, if anyone wants to recommend a raid target to uh, sign us off tonight, I was about to say Cappy, but it looks like he's done for tonight, so uh, give me your rare target or else I will pick one. <laughs> None that I know of. I think GameJ06 is streaming Super Princess Peach of all games. Huh. <laughs> That's a game. Someone actually, uh, someone on my Twitter was like, wow, this soundtrack thing is actually pretty cool. Like, from the game. It's like, you know, I've literally never thought to listen to the soundtrack of that game. I should actually do that. It's a very <laughs> interesting game. So that's Game J06 right now with Super Princess Peach, right? Yeah. Although I'm looking at the stream right now. It, uh, let me pull it up here. Game J06. 95k follower special. He actually is Super Mario Bros. 3 mix up right now. You wanna know what? We're rating him. Alright, 
Game J06, raid message is going to be... Oh gosh, I don't want to spoil it. I was about to spoil something. What should our raid message be? Oh, I didn't even know that. What are the odds? <laughs> Look at that. I, I, I looked up Super Princess Peach. He's doing Super Mario Bros. 3 mix. Uh, our huh. raid message is going to be... Watch... Uh, watch for ro no, not watch for rolling rocks. Um, shoot, what's a good raid message? What was a good thing from this stream? Be careful for comments. I, I don't want to spoil that detail though. Something about oh, angles. Oh, he's not there yet. Oh. Something about angles. Egg rolls. <laughs> Egg rolls. <laughs> Mario three mix now with slopes. <laughs> Evil Pop Tart bus. <laughs> I would love to see that. Evil Pop Tart bus. <laughs> well, our raid message is going to be that. Ain't DLC. That, that's gonna be our raid message here. That ain't DLC. And I'm gonna be hitting the raid command, and I hope you all have a good night. So, take care, everyone. Take care. <laughs>